So, I got the one. It's Jared. BRS Replicant, Benchmade 51. It's a tough choice, right? And really, it's not. This is a Cold Steel Trailmaster in 01 that I need to give some love. This is a Cold Steel Marauder in OS 8, right? They're both Cold Steel made Bowie knives, rubber handle, obviously clip point, cross guard. They're both Bowie knives, right? Both fixed blade Bowie knives. This is designed as a fighting knife. It's thin, got a thinner profile. It's hollow ground. It's much pointier, you know what I mean? It's got that good penetrating tip. This is a fighting knife. This is a slasher. It's a pirate knife, right? A sick shit. This is still some sickness, but I mean, it's a third of an inch thick. Almost a third of an inch thick. It's ridiculous. It's big and it's beefy and it's heavy and it's just choppy, right? It's got that full flat grind on there. And it's, I mean, this is designed to work. This is designed to be put through some wood. You know I mean abuse some stuff with it? That's what, you know. And so they have a very different design. There's a very different idea behind these two knives, even though they are so very similar. They're both giant nine inch bladed Bowie knives. And I think it's the same thing with these knives here. This is a BRS replicant, right? And this knife is designed for flipping. I mean, I can really tell in the actual movement of this thing, it does move very well. I will be doing a review on this thing eventually. You know, once I actually know, once it gives me, you know, there's the proper vibe from it, right? I will be doing a review on this thing, but it moves better. You know, it actually flips better. It, you have to put less motion into flipping the replicant than you do something like this 51. And honestly, this 51 is half flitaniumed out generally. I just threw this scale on here to for the sake of this video so that I'd actually have something that looks generally like a 51. And so the flipping is kind of, it's actually interesting to flip around. But it's been said that this knife isn't the best flipper. And it wasn't, I mean, it was designed, I don't think that flipping was the optimal goal in the design of the 51 you know i mean it was thought of it was definitely considered you know i can never really think that they wouldn't actually put the consideration of manipulation and flipping around i'll get this one out for the actual flipping this is a 1601 closer and wait for actual comparison but you know they thought of flipping you know they actually thought of manipulation using it as a sporting implement a toy whatever you want to say you know they thought of that when they made the, the design of the actual 51 but it wasn't the overall goal they wanted to give you something lighter more handy very easy to carry very easy to slip into your pocket the utilitarian blade design that's on this 51 i mean it's got a really high flat saber grind with that kind of spear point profile coming down originally was more of a spear point profile it's a very working blade shape again it's very thin it's designed to slice through material you can do a lot of work with this i mean that's an excellent blade shape for utility edc tasks you I mean just cutting through general stuff that's a really good blade shape right this is a very cool blade shape this is a very unique very interesting it's got all these lines to it i mean they call it a scorpion tail clip point or tonto scorpion tail tail tonto something like that and i mean it's just aggressive and it's mean and it's very cool looking it brings all of the weight of this blade to the edge i mean it brings all of the weight and the balance actually out to the end of this blade so it's a very purposefully designed blade shape you know what i mean again same thing it's a very purposefully designed blade shape it's just going towards a different purpose right and it's the same thing with the overall balance of this this thing has titanium liners with steel backspacers this is a titanium liner with titanium backspacers and they did that you know they actually the using titanium for the backspacer itself just to give it that certain weight they actually give it that perfect little weight you know they what they would consider perfect and honestly it flips pretty damn well but to, to actually give it that this is why they chose to use the materials that they did it's also way my why the why they may have chosen to use a spring latch as well or a non-spring latch i mean it's just traditional t-latch because there's no material here this brings so little weight to the end of that handle it doesn't actually mess with the balance like this 51 does because you've got this ignore the here 
go with this one here. You've got the, the actual pocket clip, the extra pin going through for the pocket clip, all the material and that, you know, the jazz that's going on in there. There's like the little bushing and there's a little piece of steel there. And I mean, it's a very tiny little, very almost nothing piece of steel that's actually in there to make contact and create that spring latch. Which again, you know, it lightens the knife. There's almost no material there. They just use high quality material and a very, very small, intricately milled out part. And so it, it actually saves weight. I mean, it knocks down the weight on the whole knife. It's not knocking it down completely over the design of the knife, the actual flipping of the knife. But it's still, there is a discrepancy there. There, there is a dis weight discrepancy between these two handles. It's not nearly as noticeable with something like the Replicant. And so I think that they just have very different attributes. This thing actually has a pocket clip on it. You can get a replicant with a pocket clip, but it's not going to carry nearly as easy in your pocket as something like the 51. The 51 just slides in and out of your pocket, especially with the way that that pocket clip rides on the G10 scale here. I really do like the way that that works. Slides in and out of my pocket. It, there's no weight. You know, it's very easy. It's very light. It's very nice to carry around you know i do like it better with the singular flightanium scale on there just give it an extra little bit of weight but that's because i'm so you mean spoiled with the weight that all of these other ballet songs have you mean flipping them around i was about to pull this one out but this kind of goes along the same path as that uh the 51 i would say in the actual lightness in the construction but i mean it's just a different style of the same knife yes they're both Ballet songs, but I think they they both they're it's it's a different realm of ballet song. You've got your dedicated flipper. This is a sporting movement. This is this is you know, I mean that's what this is for. This is for flipping. This is an implement for flipping. This is for sporting. We need to actually get right out from around this camera. But this is a carry tool. I mean, this is a tool. This is something that you can use. You can actually, well, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying you can't use this. But, you know, I mean, this is something that you can throw in your pocket and barely know that it's there. You know, they're just different designs of knife. And they're both excellent at it, I think. Right around the same price, Titanium Line G10 Valley Songs. Both made in America. Beautiful, isn't it? That's it. Y'all have a good one.